A welcome back, loyal subjects of Funk, to this a brand new Let's Funk gameplay, and it is Rome 2 Total War Emperor Edition. So let's go for the uh, Grand Ca Imperator Augustus campaign, should I say. And we will pick a faction. Um, so we can pick Rome, which we're going to do, and it's in the Civil War. And I'm just going to do a standard Octavian one, as he is on my thumbnail, which I made before doing this. Right, so I'm just going to go for hard, I think. That's usually my favourite difficulty. Don't want it on medium. I well, maybe we should go very hard. We'll go very hard. Let's go very hard and start this campaign. And we'll jump right in there. Let's have a look at the bonuses. Plus one recruitment slot in all your provinces. Absolutely bang on the money. One ruler. Boots. So there we go. Let's get in there, guys. I have been waiting for this for some time. It's looking beautiful. To celebrate, we'll crack oh, open son. a can of Guinness. All I can to <laughs> the gods smile on you, Octavia. Lovely You're a good stuff. Soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. <sighs> it's not more speeches in the Senate <clears throat> that will change the world. Rome is dying. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favoured you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Very atmospheric. Absolutely bang on. Trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. Yes! Come on! All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. So much motivational music. Brilliant. Let's get in there, guys. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Celebrate with a swig of Guinness. Oh, it tastes lovely. Right. The uh, loading screen looks beautiful. Now you have the chance to surpass the exploits of your glorious predecessor. No I thank you, mate. We'll always skip that, because it's uh, a load of crap. Sent to my uh, bold undertakings, objectives. Completely control 10 provinces, either by direct ownerships or client states. A classic, uh, easy goal, I would say. So who are we going to declare war with? And who are we already at war with, should we say? Right, we'll have a look at the political overview to get a good start. Um, oh, so we are at war with... Um, oh, no, we're not. We have a defensive ally with um, Mark Antony. But he hates us, so I can see him cancelling that soon. These guys seem to be okay with us. Right, so... I'm not sure whether it's a good idea just to go for a, a war straight away. Or whether it would actually work to our advantage to wait a few turns, see what the funk happens and then decide, but I think first thing we'll do is start to produce some troop yours. Ooh, what's this? Uh, upgrade. How much does that cost me? I really like the new interface, it looks nice. I think. They're my, some of my favourite troop of the old vigils. Something about them I just like. Right, and we'll purchase two legions and that'll do for now because we want to raise an army here in Nabo. And we'll do that right now. Because we're going to invade Spain. We're going to invade it hard. And probably Sicily as well. At the same time. So then, let's erase an army with... I like the look of this guy. I don't know why. His helmet's quite ugly, but it sort of suits a Spanish um, campaign, I think. I'm actually going to give him a veteran legionaries as a, as a unit. Oh, that's a shit blooming unit. I'll get four units of vigils. We'll sort this out. Let's uh, see if we can build a bit something half decent here. 
Uh, right. Maybe it might be a, a good idea to develop something. There we go. Fields of Mars. Absolutely spot on. Oh, there, look. We've done it in the capital of this region. So. See if there's anything else we can build. Because we're going to have... It looks like we're going to have a few rebellions on our hands. But so what? That's the way it's got to be. That's the way it's got to be. We'll build up this navy as well. Because I think navy might be a key to our survival. So we'll build one of those. Maybe we can get a cheaper one. How much have we got? 500 there. Uh, yeah, we'll get two more javelin ships. And we'll end turn. See how... Ooh, research. I always forget about research. Uh, this one will do. Then we can fill all that in and get plus three replenishment rate for all army. We'll enter. Ooh, province edicts. Well, I know which provinces we should go for. Let's actually have a look on the map to see what the province boundaries are like. Nah, shit. That's taking the Michael Kane. We'll go for Aquitania because I presume it might have a lower, yeah, a lower what you call it. Standard bread and games. What's that there? That's new. Village gold mine, lovely stuff. That's a money maker for us. So there we go. How many more province edicts do we actually have? We'll do one here as well. We'll probably have to squash the goals as well. I can see that happening. And you are... Are these already happy? No, they're not. So we'll do the same here. The classic food and games. And perhaps the north as well. We can't. We haven't got enough Imperitum. So let's end turn, see what happens, see what developments developments they are. I'm sure we'll get some bad news. Mark Antony's probably going to cancel his uh, friendly relations with us. It actually feels a little bit slower. Because he, he used to actually move really fast. I don't know if this is just because there's a lot of big nations on the map. Or if it's something to do with the update, but th uh, there we go. But I do like the new suave looking uh, loading screens and whatnot. I mean, the, the the whole menu one is absolutely bang on the Das Kapital. That's beautiful. Province edict issued. War declared with who? Right, okay. Not so bad because it means that these lot are troubled with fighting nations. Who are they war with again? Right. Because what we need to do is, we've subju subjugated these and they're obviously going to start fighting us soon. And it's going to be a problem. And there's GB, Great Britain. Uh, right. So we're making 4,500 a turn. What we actually need to start doing is building our economy. So we'll go for a... We need a trading spot. Shipwright, Military Wharf, Harbour. We'll go for Harbour. If you don't mind. And here, we will go for... Oh, it's already got a harbour. Uh, ooh! They've half the amount of food costs to level... Oh, no. They give us a food cost for leveling up to level 2. Used to be nothing. Oh, well. You can't get everything for free. Ooh, that one's got a... A plus 2 public order. That's new. That's good, though. That's good for suppressing the natives. I'm not sure that region needs suppressed, though. It's probably one of these ones up here, like this. That needs uh, suppressed a little bit. So let's go for a public order bonus. And possibly one that comes with a few garrisons. Oh, we don't have garrisons anymore on uh, these buildings. Public forums, are they? No, they are public forums. They're the orange ones. Sacred ground. That's what I'm thinking about. Right, let's go back down here and get this guy a couple more units. Getting three of those, that'll do. And this guy's got two legions, but you know what? He's gonna have four legions, or he's only gonna have three. We'll save the money and see if we can build something else. I'm sure we can build a building with a uh, yeah, with that amount. Ooh, I like that. That'll do. That'll do us. And we'll go again, see how things develop. I think that's the best course of action in this let's funking play. Rome two, total war. Oh, bollocks. Oh, I just farted. Um, so, right. We are going to war with... 
Pompey, it would seem. And I will enter war on the side of the Allies. I think that's a wise decision. However, that means I'm building up forces in the wrong area. But it would be good to nick those provinces from Pompey. We'll build our navy up and see if we can take uh, Corsica in this uh, start of next turn. I haven't actually fought many naval battles on here. I'm not too keen on navies. Oh, here we go. Trade agreements. Ooh. I think that's a very good idea, sir. That'll strengthen our economy. Right then. Troubled populaces everywhere. We'll check those out in a minute. Might be a wise to... Go on. Oh, yes! Ah, oh, It's got a garrison. Right, let's uh, maintain the military blockade and... Purchase. S no mercenaries! Right, hold on. Let's see what we have to deal with. Oh, we can do that ourselves. We can go in and fight this and take this island. That's one unit of veteran legions. We already have one unit ourselves of veteran legions. I think... After pondering a little bit, that although I think I probably could be able to do this battle, because we have better units, it might actually be wiser to continue the blockade. And as this, I think, no, it's not within our borders, you see. So let's actually go ahead and. I think I'll take away the blockade. To begin with, yes. it's a pity there's no mercenaries. Why is there no mercenaries around? I want to I wanna hire a few more troops first, but I think Octavian or Gaius, who is that? We need to get some more troops, actually move south, and then get some more troops and cross over to Syracuse. Because Pompey are going to try and steal our cities. Ooh, first cohorts. Ooh. How's about them apples? I like that. Ooh, that's four really good units that we're going to be invading with. We've done well there. And we'll go back up here. And what we'll also try and do is... Because what we need is a few... Half decent buildings up here to make sure that we can keep public order. There might be some mercenaries next turn, we'll see. How that goes. Antony's Rome taking its turn. Pompey's Rome, here we go. Didn't do out this turn. So we'll have another turn of hiring troops when we get down to uh, the southern parts of Italy before crossing over. And hopefully we will have such a strong army with the first cohorts. You have been blessed with courage, so will you not use that courage to help us? Attack these people! <sighs> Who are they friendly, friendly with? Right, okay, we'll join the war for political reasons. Because we want to maintain good relations with our vassals. They have asked us to join the war. So there we go. Let's have a look, see if there's any mercenaries now. Still none available. Right, well, we'll just move back into these waters and build as many troops as we can, I think. Um, more legionary boats, I think. Three more legions for a start. Oh, it's winter now. Which always usually ends uh, the campaign season. However, in this game, the more southern you get, the less snow there is. So I imagine we will be fine in these... Oh, what the hell is that? Bloody champion. <laughs> oh, well. We'll leave the champion there to muck about, and then we'll get him to join this army next, because we'll need his uh, valiant expertise. We'll get two of them... Two more legions, please. First cohorts. Yes, please. That is a bloody good set of units. Right. What else do we want to do? I did want to move these north. 
But we might have to wait until winter's over before we can do that. Because they're now at minus... 40. Which is not good. Whereas these need some troops def desperately. A peacekeeping force. That's all it needs to be though. And to defend from that uh, Gaulish tribe up at the north. So let's once again enter... Ooh, technologies. Right, should we go for some happiness ones then? Go for land management. Classic one. We need it though. To make sure that we can uh, get those ones that give us those edict not edicts those oh here we go um i think that as i'm going to break alliance because i was doing good then with them i'm going to keep up my relations with this uh spanish nation until Pompey is destroyed and then we'll take on Mark Antony we're always going to break relations with him anyhow because to be fair he hates us look at all those troubled populaces right here we go we'll move these down to the south and we'll do our last military training please we'll do our last uh, recruitment of two legionary cavalry um and what's oh some of these are costly one of those that's it that's all we're gonna get that'll do us don't wanna spend too much money now do we so let's go oh yes right okay so that the seasons only come around once every four turns which is interesting to know and now we can get some more troops here, which we probably could have done before, but I think... Oh, there we go. Should we try again? So I don't think it's... Oh, it has got an army. Bollocks. So what's that? Boats. Maintain blockade and see if they try and get out of it. Oh, shit, we can't. Bollocks. Oh well, that can skirmish up there until we've got the uh, troops needed to bug Syracuse. And that can just skirmish with the islands and whatnot. I hope Antony doesn't declare war on me this turn. I wouldn't have thought it likely yet. Maybe a couple more turns. Here we go, Pompey. He is getting ready. Oh yes, I like how that army's standing outside the city. Oh no, it's back inside the city. I was going to say that would have been an ideal opportunity to jump all over Syracuse as a nation. Because we want to take the capital first. Subdue the capital. Show it who's boss. Then move on to the other two. Right, here we go. Will you not give our people a little gold? Yeah. All right. We've got bigger fish to fry. This is civil war. All would surely benefit if we agree to Ooh, open. yes! Oh, yes, and they're winning the war as well. Military sabotage. Bollocks. Commander. Right, well, I don't like military sabotage. However, our commander might be able to assassinate. Opportune failure. Oh, well. He leveled up though. Better than the kick in the cherries. Um, minus 10% plus 5% chance of critical actions. Ooh. Now. Maintain this siege for now. And get ourselves some mercs. Ooh, some nice units here for the siege. We could do with some um, hoplites, expendable hoplites that we can sack after the siege. Uh, right, so we'll get, which one's the most expensive? Mercenary veteran hoplites. Oh, we can only get one. And now we have a full house. 
So how does that make a di Oh, that made all the difference. Uh, Pyrrhic victories. I'm gonna go for a balanced stance. Ooh, occupy. How's about those apples then? We did lose a lot of troops there. If an army comes next turn, we're absolutely knackered. Uh, we'll go warrior. I think we get the fear bonus for that, which will is I've always found is a beautiful piece of additional uh, things to battle. But there we go. Right, so we've conquered the first part of Syracuse. We're going to have to get some more troops from here for these lot. So it doesn't seem there's any mercenaries ever in the boats. So we'll get some more troop yours. And uh, we'll just make it as many. We'll get a couple of fire ships actually. Because I'm sure that'll upset uh, the enemy. And we'll keep moving the peacekeepers up, as I'm going to call them. Don't think we need any more troops for the, uh, this unit. Two legionaries is enough to peacekeep. And four vigils. Basically, we just want to get to probably this city here is the best one to station them in. Because it's right in the middle, ready to squash any rebellion at any notice. Mm. Oh shit, I want one that's going to give food. Might be wise to build a public forum there. Consecrated ground, sorry, we've got public forum. But what we actually need is a food one. I want lands to build cattle on and whatnot. So there we go. We'll see if we survive this turn. Because we know what the enemy's like. An absolute bunch of bad buggers. Especially Antony's Rome. But um, I'm talking about Syracuse. They're going to try and invade the island. Here we go. Tell me what happens. Oh, they didn't do it. That That's it. We're established now because we, they haven't got enough... They won't have enough forces to take Syracuse if I take control of the uh, defence personally. Excellent. Subjugate Syracuse and then we'll move on. Yes, Helveti. They still exist. Caesar must have just subjugated them or left them be. Right, join the war against... Lightly, by the gods favourite. An attack on these people would aid our cause. Yeah, go on then. I don't know where the hell they are, but as long as we keep up relations with all these Gaulish nations, because they're right on our backs and we don't want to piss about with them. Right. Let's get our man into here first this turn. And then we will have a look at this. And we will... What's he guilty of? Poisoning his ward to inherit the boy's land. Ooh, throw him from the rock. Crucify him. Throw him from the rock. We'll do no such crucifixions. Oh, this is interesting. Advanced politics. Right, influenced, respected. Plus two research. Oh, I like that. This will come in very handy. We just need to get more influence in the Senate. Excellent. Right. Okay, so it's going to take a, two, a few turns to um, heal this army. We'll get one more vigil to balance it out with, it, balance it out with an even number. Because that's what I like to do. And we'll bring this guy down to train the army as well. That's always a good thing to do. Because some of them have got experience anyhow, but that's soon going to disappear. Once the troops whittle down uh, a, a fit, uh, once the ranks are filled with uh, troops that have zero experience oh so here we go now we need a fishing if you don't mind oh what's this village vineyard <sighs> minus one food we'll get that and shall we have another crack at ah yes isolated how's about those apples Oh, balance stance. Not like the look of that. Kill. Oh yes, that was the uh, provinces garrison as well. If we got, if I got that right, we'll go for an aggressive one, um, and we shall occupy. 
That's awesome. So I've just managed to claim Aleria or modern day Corsica right at the end of our Let's Funking Play episode 1. And uh, we will give him a strategist. Right. Looks beautiful, apart from we've got an enemy uh, Legio Legion probably coming to show us who's boss. So, um, we'll just let it heal up. It'll, it'll take a couple of turns to reach us anyhow. And the buildings in these Roman provinces have Roman buildings anyhow, so we don't have to worry about converting anything. And I think we'll pick this up next time, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you later.